Just from the Capitol, Taman. Dina, Ben, Springfield started the day with a long to-do list. Few people had read the state budget, seen a final plan for ethics reform, or settled on future state energy policy. Thank you, Madam President. Appointed it's just how they roll. Place. Deadline day, and the Illinois legislature is rushing to read, debate, State and pass right. major pieces of legislation. Early this morning, Democrats unveiled the 704 page budget bill, leaving rank and file lawmakers less than 24 hours to comb through it. Negotiators must decide how to close a budget hole of $1.3 billion and allocate more than $8 billion in federal funds. Today, several non-controversial measures passed. Lawmakers made history, making Illinois the first state to ban officers from lying to youth during interrogations. To secure confessions, police regularly deceive suspects during questioning. The legislature also passed a bill making June 19th a holiday. Juneteenth commemorates the day in 1865 when the last enslaved black people learned that they were free. Some of the more contentious legislation includes energy policy. Exelon and the state are trying to reach agreement about subsidies to help three of Exelon's nuclear plants, gun legislation requiring all legal gun owners be fingerprinted, an elected school board in Chicago. The House approved a bill that would create an all-elected board. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot wants a hybrid system of elected and appointed members, and a bill that would move next year's primary election from March 15th to June 28th and make Election Day a state holiday. We're just seeing if this is something that uh, we can um, adapt or adopt um, long term, but if not, this will be just a one time thing. Over the weekend, several bills passed both chambers, including a measure limiting the use of seclusion and restraint in schools, cannabis cleanup that would give out 110 new marijuana licenses, and Democrats rammed through state legislative and Supreme Court maps that will favor their party for the next decade. Democrats used population estimates from the American Community Survey rather than the final census figures due out in mid-August. Republicans say the map is flawed. We're chasing ourselves further down this rabbit hole where we're, we're making data optional. Yesterday on WGN TV Political Report, the head of a good government group called out Democrats' tactics. This whole process was the farthest from respectful and transparent that I've ever, re ever seen. All right, at this hour, we are waiting for a closer examination of the budget. The Senate right now is an executive committee looking at other matters while House members retrieve to their respective caucuses. It's going to be a long night. <laughs> and as you said, just how they roll. Right. Uh -huh. You'll have to read it last minute.